welcoming blessings to those who are coming into Good Friday tomorrow. I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. It's pretty dark as we're getting into winter. It's probably going to get a bit dark. I probably should put a light on me, but you know, you don't care. I don't care. We're just here for the fun, right? We are. Oh, come over here, my little eggy. My little egg there. Isn't he cute? He's got his little egg hat on. Wears it every year now. I'm online, but yes. No. But you could ask her if you wanted. Sorry, we're just sort of working around what's happening today. So I know I'm early and I know no one's here. And that's all right. But, you know, I was bored. I just wanted to talk to you guys. So while we're just sitting here, I will um, see if I can work on that light. Make it a little bit more bright for you. I do have a light here that might just do the trick for us. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it, Matera? You like that? Okay. Oh, we have some people here. Hello. Astral's here. Hi, Astral. How are you going? Elaine, good morning. Happy Good Friday. I hope you're doing good. Look, ready? Who wants their own reborn Easter egg? Look, he's all cracked up. He's so cute. Hi, Mama. How are you going? You're not late. I'm like half an hour early. I just was so bored and wanted to hang out with you guys. So I'm early. So yeah. Molly says, hi, has anyone told you you're awesome? To oh, that's really lovely of you to say. Thank you. I think you're awesome too, just for saying that. Under the Sun says, hi, Annette, morning. I was going to ask where everyone was. Well, like I said, I'm really early. I'm like 20 minutes early. Yeah, I'm 20 minutes early, but I just thought, you know, sometimes you just get those days where you just think, I just want to, I don't feel like waiting. I want to go and talk. Under the sunset, happy Good Friday. Oh, so cute, Matilda. Matilda's very cute too. I'm just trying to find something to um, boost him up a little bit. I've sort of moved everything around as I do. That's all right. <clears throat> That's all right. Where did I move it to? That's all right. Anyway, I've, I've just got to be somewhere here. I might have to sit you on a box of paints. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Check your bonus. Get your hat on. You're all cracked up, I know. Your Easter egg outfit. Matilda can pop herself up on that one a little bit. Look how cute. How cute is she? Once again, she wears these ears every year. Matteo has a grey set, but you think he's got it at the moment? No, he's like put it somewhere. I don't know. Astral says, hi, Tate, Tito. Say hi. That's so cute. I hope everyone's doing really well and happy <coughs> and looking forward to Easter. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to Easter. But most of all, I'm looking forward to today. We're just having a pretty chill day today. As you, most of you have realised, it's Friday here. Anyone that's out of Australia, that is. Um, so yeah, it's, um, going to be a quiet day. I'm going to do some gardening. Um, Rissa's coming over today. If everyone remembers my friend Rissa, who I've known since, I've known for like 20 years, since she was like 15. Um, so she's going to come over and tonight as a big, as our whole family, including Rissa, including the boys, we're all going to see Ghostbusters. So I'm very excited about that. As you, as you guys know, Armani, but especially Cruz, Cruz is addicted to Ghostbusters. Like he literally watches the movie every day. Um, so they've just released the new Ghostbusters at the cinemas. So we're going to watch that tonight. So it should be good. Hopefully the boys sit still. Sometimes when you take them to the movies, they tend to sort of wiggle up, down, off the chair, up, down, up, down, up, down. Eat, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's like hard to focus on the movies. They're still a little bit young. But, you know, what's better than seeing your absolute favourite movie in the cinemas, right? So we are going to go tonight. So hopefully it goes all well. Astral says, Tio makes a great leprechaun. <laughs> he does. He really does, doesn't he? Um, I know what you're saying, but, yeah, he, he kind of looks a little bit like a leprechaun. 
Uh, Mama says, looking forward to going to Rose <coughs> in May. That was a great movie. Saw it over the weekend. Oh, did you? Oh, cool. Okay, well, thank you for the heads up. I'm sure it would have would be after. I really liked Afterlife. So I'm hoping, well, for the boys' sake, that it keeps them, you know, really eager to watch, especially since they've never seen it before. Under the Sun said, I'm good. I got very sick last week with a stomach bug. Uh, tune out. It w turned out it was the contrast that I took last week but yeah no evidence of cancer in my body I'm still in remission and stable congratulations that's really 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 amazing to hear good morning Jessica how are you I hope you're doing good happy good Friday so um most of you well some of you were here last week um, but last week, only like 10 or so minutes after I finished my live stream, my beautiful friend Heidi passed away. Um, so it's been a sad week for us, for me, for myself and for my friend Angela, who's probably here now or is almost here. I am early, so she might not be. Astral said, I still watch my video when he turned into <laughs> and threw his hat. <laughs> Hello, that's cute. I said LOL, why did I say that? Uh, anyway, um, Jessica said, I'm good, how are you? I'm, I'm good, thanks. Under the sun said, thanks, Annette. Yes, so be beautiful Heidi. I say it's been a very sad week. Last weekend was really, really, really crap. I mean, as it would be when you lose someone close to you, it's always a very sad time. Um, but last weekend was the worst. But after the weekend, I started you know, thinking more about who she was as a person and how she reacted to people and and what she did for people and everything. Um, I'm talking about her because when we did the convention, um, Heidi was a great input to that convention. I mean, she started off many years ago, like five years ago, she started in classes at Aussie Reborn Supplies. Um, I don't know if anyone, thank you, Astral, uh, remembers when I started doing painting classes she was one of my first students and as as many people do um, after being here she turned into a friend and then she would come and help me out in the shop and she was a real chatterbox real chatterbox it was lovely and um, yeah just over the years you know we grew, grew closer together and you know we met Angela and you know then Angela sort of came on board and um, and yeah it was just sort of like a a partnership between all of us like friendship um, but the first convention was you know amazing um, Heidi was actually our chief baby snuggler we didn't even know it at the time but she came along and she literally stole everyone's babies and gave them big cuddles and just really doted on everyone's reborns she was an amazing addition to the convention without even being addition she was just a friend so she came along and she just made everyone feel really really special um, on that day um many times you go to conventions or shows and you're just another passer buyer you know but she was stopping so many people oh Mateo and just doting over their babies and saying oh can I have a snuggle and saying oh you've got no choice and just stealing it from them and snuggling and just talking to the baby and it was amazing <coughs> It was just an incredible time and I think people were just, wow, this person. Um, anyway, I'm hearing Michael rap, yap downstairs. The next year, um, Heidi came on board as our official chief baby snuggler. And the sad thing, and I think it's kind of sad for her in a way, as being part of the team she lost that spark. She couldn't really be a chief baby snuggler. She had a job to do at the convention and I think that took away from who she really was. It was kind of sad without us knowing at the time that it would take that away from her. But, yeah, it did. Um, it, it really did. It was sad. Um, and then, of course, last convention that we've just had, she couldn't attend because... You know, she had cancer and um, it was just she wouldn't have been able to cope at all. So I'm really sad but also really blessed 
that we had her and that so many people got to meet her and um, know who she is and what she was all about. Um, so Heidi, you know, bless you. I hope you've got beautiful wings and I hope you're enjoy enjoying your peace finally. So like I said, this week I've been just trying to draw from her energy and know what she would have wanted me to do and that is to remember all of our great times together and remember you know who she was as a person and and really hold on to that so so as sad as it is unfortunately it was inevitable um her cancer was terminal and um we all knew it was going to happen it's just you know you never want to lose someone so special to you so you know rest in peace Heidi and she'll always be an amazing person to me so that's been a sad week unfortunately um jessica said she was so nice when i met her she was she is under the sun said no oh my god what's the cause of death um i used to own one of her babies oh my god it seems i'm always losing friends due to health she had brain cancer unfortunately and um and yeah it was not operable and um, and she found out like last August. So it took her pretty quickly, really, within like six to seven months. It wasn't very long. But, um, yeah, very sad for her. But, you know, unfortunately or fortunately, um, her brain cancer would make her forget a lot of things. So in a way that could have been a blessing because... You know, many times she might have not exactly known what was going on, just knew she was really sick. So, um, mm, pretty sad. That's so sad. May she rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you so much. Angela is here. Good morning, Angela. I hope you're doing good today. Well, I know you're doing a bit better today. So, um, Under the Sun says, another friend in our local dog community is in hospice now. She can't, she can no longer eat. She's now on IV fluids. I'm still grieving over my uncle's passing in February. Yes, unfortunately, it's a, a lot, you know, a lot of people are passing and things like that. But, you know, in many ways, I think to myself, I mean, not in the sake of Heidi. She was only 50 years old, so far, far, far too young. Um, but I think as we get older, you know, we as adults, we start to see it a little bit more, unfortunately. Friends passing away, family, our uncles, aunties, grandparents, parents. Um, and it's going to start happening more so. And, you know, oh, me personally, I have been totally blessed like all my life, literally. Um, the first real passing, you know, Michael and I had to endure was his mother who passed away, you know, just under two years ago. Um, before that, we didn't really have a lot of people passing away in our life. Um, <clears throat> he had grandparents when he was very young. Um, I had, you know, my nana and things like that, but, you know, wasn't really super close when they passed. Um, uncles and aunties and things like that. But again, they weren't like that really huge impact in your life. And unfortunately, you know, for us, we've lost six people um, in under two years and that has really hugely impacted um, who I am uh, hugely, hugely, you know, like it's a whole different ball game, literally in your mind. <clears throat> it's not like la-di-da, fairy floss and lollipops and let's play with our reborns and let's have fun. You know, I sit out every day and can you hear that, Angela? Um, I sit every day and contemplate so much. Contemplate, you know, the loss of, you know, those who I absolutely adored. And, you know, I have I have learned to hold a lot in. But like Angela knows, I hold a lot in and then it all comes out, spewing out normally when she's around. <clears throat> so you can't really hold it in, but you can't help it either. So, you know. There's a lot of holding <clears throat> sadness in, which is really hard. Um, everyone says hi to Angela. Uh, Under the sun said, oh, man, that sucks. Do you watch on the news? Yeah, that Princess Kate has cancer. She's in the early stage of chemo treatments. Uh, this stinks. Makes me sad. Yes, unfortunately. 
I don't think you even have to watch the news to hear about Kate. That's everywhere, all over Facebook and everything. So <clears throat> it's a lot. It's really a lot. But, you know, I am also, um, um, how do you say it? Over this time, over the past two years, I've learnt a lot of how to cope and how to be more grateful for those people you know, especially the ones that you've lost or you hear that have lost, you know, you try to um, celebrate their lives more so because literally they would not want you sitting crying all the time. It's so important. So, um, but less than two years ago, I wouldn't have even known that. Like I was in la-la land, you know, just like I said, life's like fairy floss and lollipops. It's great and everyone's happy and we're all smiling and I mean you have your hard times but and then someone passes and you realize those hard times they are nothing they are I mean they your reality everyone has to accept their reality but they are nothing in the scale of what happens you know when you lose someone very special under the sun said I'm still on my hormone blocker to prevent cancer to come back I have one more year to go with that and we'll know on the next steps well you're blessed and i'm very grateful that you're around so surveillance <clears throat> but we'll see i still have a long way to go and it's taking time mate i think you just like everyone you've just got to be really grateful that you're a cancer survivor and just um i mean you've got to talk about it of course you've got to talk about it and you know but you know celebrate your life that you've been further given and you know focus on that focus on all those happy moments and I think you're you, you I think you're out of the clear I think you're going to do great you know you've done great ever since so you know you're one of the lucky ones so you know just focus on that magic you know not so much on you know what you've still got to go through unfortunately that's just a part of being a cancer survivor and it always will you know that um, my friend, you know, has to go through all of that for the rest of her life, all those sort of checks and stuff. It's always going to be there. But I think you're a, a bigger person than that. I think you're a very lucky person. And that's what you need to celebrate. Sonia said, good morning and happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, Sonia. Are you looking forward to this afternoon's last baby standing? I'm on top of it. I'm so proud. I'm going to sit up really tall. Matilda, come sit up really tall with me sit up really tall with me i have already decided <laughs> sometimes i don't decide i have already decided what today's task is i have already taken pictures i have already scheduled the post and i am smoking hot ahead of myself for once sometimes i'm not joking sonia sometimes i've had i've had one day where i've been like it's like 2 20 in the afternoon and i'm like i normally post at three o'clock and i'm like oh my god I haven't posted last baby standing and then I'm like what am I going to do and I have to sit and rack my brains even while I'm busy what I'm going to come up with and literally just whoosh, under the chair or under the table skimming skimming on top of the water and I make it and it turns out to be something good so I don't know how I do it but yeah I manage it and the song said thanks we all love you and with all the protection around of your friends, you've got this so much. And Sonia said, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so um, when I post, which is my three o'clock in the afternoon, what time is it for you, Sonia? Is it, are you around? I don't think you're in the same time zone as me, are you? I know Tracy is. Tracy, I think, lives <clears throat> over the other side of brisbane or something i don't think she's that far away i'm not 100 percent sure but i think from what i've seen her post and i think she's even come to the convention and stuff so i'd assume that she's local so to speak under the sunset has amani and cruz gotten their easter candies just yet or are they still waiting for the Easter Bunny to bring to the boys? They've got little bits and pieces, yes, um, but most of it they're waiting for the Easter Bunny to come, <coughs> which which is so cute. But, you know, when my kids were little, every Easter we would go to my mum's, uh, mum and Desi's, um, Desi, rest in peace, 
has been one of my six that have passed in the last couple of years. <clears throat> What's the time with me right now? It's eight, not even 8.30, just off 8.30. Um, so we used to go to my mum's every Easter and we'd go on the Friday. It, it's 9, eight. okay, so you're only 30 minutes in front. So, okay, when I'm posting at 3, for you it's 3.30. Okay, interesting. There you go. Um, get some light on your face, little man. So, um, yeah, we used to go on, I think we used to go on the Thursday night. And so Good Friday would also always be when the Easter Bunny came. And sometimes as it got older, as they got older, it used to get really hard because they would be saying to their friends, oh, the Easter Bunny's coming to tomorrow. And the friends would be going, no, Easter Bunny doesn't come for a few days. And I'd have to say, oh, because we're going to um, grandma's and granddad Bessie's, the Easter Bunny comes a little earlier because we're in a different location because they lived at the Gold Coast, which is an hour from us. And so they had an early Easter and they never really knew that the Easter Bunny was not supposed to come that early. Um, so today, you know, let's say 15 years ago, 10 years ago, we would be doing our little Easter bunny hunt. We would have done it by now, being 8.30 in the morning. They'd be stuffing their faces with chocolate. But, oh, my God, it's sad, isn't it? Life passes and, you know, kids grow up and mm, my kids. Um, so Will's woken up at 6.30 in the morning and he's gone motorbike riding. Um, Tiana lives with her partner. <clears throat> and actually Tiana works today. She works at the cinema, so... She has double time, yay! <laughs> um, so she works at the cinema, so she won't be just chilling today. Um, and Amy, I'm sure she'll be over with the boys real soon. So um, I will get to see them in that. Um, I have got the boys Easter eggs, of course, but I'll give them on um, Sunday. Um, and um, But I have got them like, you know those new Easter eggs that you pop them in the hot chop, you hop the, hop, pop them in a hot milk or warm milk and it's like like we've got little duckies and the ducky melts away and as it melts away it breaks open to release the chocolate that you mix up to make your hot chocolate so I'm giving that to them I'm not sure if I'll give it to them today or tomorrow because I wanted them to have it probably tomorrow I wanted them to have it you know before the Easter bunny comes so the night before so just before bed something exciting so I've got them that, and um, I just got them, um, what did I get them? I think I got them a popping candy Easter egg because they love popping candy, and that's pretty cool, and just like a cute little Easter plush toy because the nice little cuddle, something to cuddle. They love their plush toys, even though Amy can't stand it because I get too many plush toys for them. But, you know, with squishmallows and everything around these days, who can not? Oh, tomorrow is your mum's birthday. Say a big happy birthday to her for me. Tell her I hope she has a fantastic day. What what a, what a time to have it, hey? Gigi's here. She said, morning, everyone, and happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too. Say happy Easter, Auntie Gigi. Oh, don't you fall over. Okay. Mr. Easter Eggman is going to sit over here again. Sit there with your crack me up egg. Don't fall over. <laughs> I've actually I've got to show you this. Just look how cute this little bum looks. These little legs popping out. How cute. Like put aside his little face and everything. How cute. <laughs> I must be getting a cough. Can you hear that? <laughs> getting a bit wheezy. That's not really good. Whew. It's the weather. We're starting to get cold weather. We've had rain all week, which has been absolutely beautiful, but it has made for some cold nights, which are a bit different to our really hot days. Come on, Mateo. Be with it. Um, <clears throat> Jessica says, tomorrow week I'm flying to Sydney for a few days with dads. Oh, that'll be so cool. You'll love that. Tammy says, happy Easter everywhere, everyone. One grandson is at my house and three more grandkids driving here now, just waiting for them to arrive. <gasps> Yay, exciting. I hope you have a great Easter with them all. Gigi says, hi, Tato and Tilly. They say hi. Uh, Deb says, morning, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too, Deb. And Gigi said, that is cute. Isn't it cute? Just really smackable. 
and little Matilda is for the first time um, wearing this little outfit now this outfit I think you can actually buy from Honeybug um, because I'm a supplier of Honeybug um, they've sent this outfit and this Honeybug dummy to match that Honeybug um, sticker is one of the um, new what is it the um, it's one of the new range that I released not long ago I can't remember what it's called now something bunnies I think something bunnies anyway um so they sent that as well and i've never let her actually like wear it but i thought wow what a perfect time for her to wear it why can i can't keep it to myself can i, I just can't you love her easter app yeah well, i think actually honeybug might sell them i'm not certain whether it was just a promotion for their their suppliers i'm not sure but you can definitely arrange the dummy under the sun says hi Gigi happy Easter happy Easter Deb from Gigi under the sun says hi Tammy happy Easter Astral says Monday would have been dad's 80th I know I saw that bless him hey um when that when that sort of thing comes up like it's just always such a memory you know Matteo being a part of your life at that time and you know now he's here and it just I think it's forever bonded us mate and you know I'll always Every time I see it, see it um, every year and that, I always think about it and think of you guys. Tammy says, happy Easter under the sun. Gigi said, happy Easter under the sun. Yeah, what a <coughs> sad time. 80 years old, hey. Has it, what was it, has it, sorry, how many years has he been gone? Was it three, three years? I know it said it on your post or two. No, it couldn't have been two. Two seems too little seems a bit longer ago hmm. come here little miss bunny she hasn't even got any shoes on today what a bad mum am i but you know it was just cute as it is Gee, oh i should actually say definitely family absolutely mm, i love family um they have got a baby sister now this baby sister we're not you the boys i've put the fairies we've got fairies outside and i've put lots of frogs and everything they're going crazy they've just seen the fairies so i put all of these all frogs and dragonflies and all these things around the fairies so they've just come and they've just gone nuts so you do get, and I even put money in their mailbox. How cute is that? I think it's more exciting than Easter for them. Okay, I'm going to have to put these back. Anyway, they've got a new baby sister. And I was covering their uh, ears because I'm, I'm saying I'm not sure if she's staying. Okay? I have created this baby sister and I haven't named it, I think, because of the fact that I don't want to get too attached. Oh, my God, four years no way okay tammy says i'm thankful for the live my tv has some cartoon about a piece of bread that's a hairdresser so the phone live hi mom okay come here school boy everyone wants and to guess see what? Rabbit. Um, um, the, um the fairies did something and bring frogs and i got new pets they've got pets they got two horses Four frogs. Really? Yeah, five frogs, actually. Now, can everyone say, has Amani grown up at all? Because Amani's in prep now, remember? I haven't yet. You haven't grown up? I did. You did? I'm just four. You're four? I, I had my birthday at kindy. Oh, you haven't had your birthday yet. That's... That's, a, that's in June. Oh, froggy, froggy. Oh, Matilda. Ah! She's, she's all right, I got her. Oh, oh, you've got a red froggy. That's and I awesome. got a blue froggy like the same as a car. Oh, wow. And cruzy has got his Ghostbusters shirt on. And the same as Ghostbusters on the shirt. Oh, and a red froggy. Say hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. 
And there's his red frog. And I got a blue frog and a blue car. And Chris red, ah! red frog and Ghostbusters is red. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. this one. <laughs> Okay, now, um, now, Cruz, can you hop down for one moment? And now, I'll Amani, when, when, you're, when you're not here anymore, we tried, Cruz, oh, Cruz, oh, can you get him away from that doll? It's all sticky. Hop away, hop you'll, away. you'll hate it if he gets that on him. It's on the I know it is. It's terrible. Cruz, you've got to hop away from um, this doll. Mama. Yeah, all yucky. Okay, so, Amani, when, um, when you're not Cameron? here, can, don't worry about them. When you're not here, I try to get Cruz to say hello to everyone and he just won't. So everyone's been a little bit sad because they don't get the hello anymore. So if you would help me, we need you to say hi to Aunty Lala. Hi, Aunty Lala. But you can't do it like that. you got to do it nice and clearly. Hi, Aunty Lala. And, and there's um, Under the Sun. So hi, Under the Sun. Hi, Under the Sun. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Astral. Hi, Astral. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Um, and did you say, do we say hi to Gigi? No. Say hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Okay, so they've all said hello to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, oh, yep, Jessica's bringing Alice to Sydney. Where's that? Where's that? Where's and that? Tammy's grandson, Atlee, says hello. Say hi, Atlee. Hi, Atlee. And Deb says hi, Amani. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi, Hi, Lane. Hi, Lane. Hi, Lane. Wow. And Under the Sun has said, Amani, how is school? Uh, good. Do you do, what do you do at school? Uh, play play -Doh. And my Easter bonnet or oh, what? This came out this thing. Can you, can you sing the song to us that you had to sing about uh, the Easter bunny? I know it. Yeah? Show us. Pink nose, floppy ears, and a floppy tail. Oh, that's good. You know that so well. And You'll have to teach me. Can you sing hot cross buns? Hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. If you have a daughter, grab them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny. Hot Cross buns. Wow, that is so good. Good job. That's really good. You learned a lot at school. Can you sing that? Yeah. And and yes, what else? What? Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Look out, look out, look out for the father and the dog. Look, run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run. Run. Wow, well done. Um, fun Sized has said hi to you, so hi Fun Sized. Hi Fun Sized. Um, he's in school, like big school, but it, we call it prep. Yes, but it's called Prep C. Prep C he's in, yep. Uh, Sonia says beautiful singing, good job Amani. Thank you. Under the Sun says hi uh, Amani and love you. Gigi said very good Amani. <coughs> Tammy says, good job. Astral says, yay. Under the Sun said, hi, Cruz. Love you, boys. And Auntie Lala says, great job. And Fun Size says, what a smart young man. Okay, come here. There's I'm not, not a man. There's, there's not a lot of room here at the moment. My legs are running out. Oh, sorry, Amani, I know that gets uncomfortable. What kind of songs can you sing, Cruz? Uh, rabbit. He always copies me. What about? Copies me. I'm <laughs> seeing things running through your head. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! An invisible man sleeping in your bed. Oh, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! See, he doesn't open up like you do. He just won't. He just talks to himself. It's taking a lot of brain power not to touch that now that you've said. No, uh, you won't like it. It's it's not properly set resin, so it's sticky to your fingers and it could be toxic too. But it's really taking a lot of power. 
<laughs> Whoa. Juice. Okay. We'll go downstairs. Go downstairs and have a juice. Are there some hot cross buns downstairs? And Pa said they taste so good with butter. So have a look. Which is like hot cross buns. <laughs> um, so, um, there we go. That's some exciting for you guys for Easter. Now back to the baby. Now, I made this baby myself. Um, but... I'm not sure. I think I've shown you guys. I think I showed you last week. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. I think I do. <laughs> She's really got lovely, lovely hair. She's very cute. But yeah, I'm not I'm not totally sure. That's why I haven't named her because I'm trying not to get um so bonded to her, if you know what I mean. Uh, so cute under the sunset okay okay cool fun size set oh so cute deb says it's mine and matt's one year anniversary today happy anniversary that's beautiful sonia said oh so tiny and cute i love these babies i really do i really think they're amazing so i probably will i've got like nearly this is a marita winters i think this is benji i think um and i've got lots of marita winters babies that are unmade so I really should create them all. So she's probably going to stay, but I have not named her yet. So that's a thing to do. It is. Gigi said, congratulations, Deb. No, she isn't the giveaway one. The Caleb one is the giveaway. This is the Marita Winters one. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I've got that feeling. Sometimes I go, oh, maybe I should give her away. And then I go, no, 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 no. So, yeah. <laughs> Tammy says, at least starts preschool in September. All oh, exciting. Yes, wrong baby. I've got some more news, guys. I am actually in the process. Hi, Marnie. Hi. You can come back in, you know. I still have this. Oh, okay. Well, Pa would probably be a bit upset if you brought it upstairs. Do you want to go back downstairs with it, though? Good job, though. Thank you for coming. It is hot crust, Mum. Gigi said, well... What do you, go back downstairs. Mom, He's got his hot cross bun too, hey? Mom, I'm downstairs. But you're eating. You can't eat in here. You Mom, drop it in. Yes? I love you. I love you too, Amani. Uh, Gigi said, well, Angela, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, Jessica said she is cute and small. I like the cute and small. They're really cool because you can take them anywhere. Anyway, the new news is I am um, in the process of mind working out some new lessons that I'm going to actually provide online. I'm finally going to do it. I've had so many people asking me for so long that I, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Under the sunset, how cute, Annette, did you reborn her? I did reborn that one, yes. <clears throat> so... I'm just trying to work out. I'll have a range of classes. I'm, I'll probably do them through Zoom, but I'm not certain at the moment. You know, all of these companies that provide that platform, you know, you have to pay for the um, privilege, which is annoying. Um, uh, Zoom has a great, you can do it free for a 40-minute class, but anything over 40 minutes, you have to pay a monthly fee for, which obviously I'd be getting paid for the classes, so that would sort of counteract that. So I've got to work it all out. But I'll be doing a range, um, and it'll probably be a continuance, so um, people will stay with me for um, the duration of the classes, which oh, I've just got to work out at the moment. Um, are you okay? Oh. Go sit on the stairs, mate. Go on, you've got your drink. Um, so I'll do like a range of, say, air dry classes and then we'll change from the air dry classes and go into heat set classes. And I'll have like the first series, which will be like, say, on a Monday night at 8 o'clock. So people that are working could join in. It'll probably be a two-hour class. Um then, then I'll do different times, so which will allow international people to be able to attend to all different times. So sometimes I might provide them in the morning. Um, so we're just trying, I'm just going to try to work out that. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's all in the process, just trying to work out 
how many classes I'll need per sort of session. Um, so maybe thinking thinking up front, up front maybe say the air dry classes might be four two hour classes. Um, you know that kind of thing, and then they kind of finish it off themselves, or hopefully they'll finish within that time. Um, I've got to work that sort of stuff out, but it'll be like a pre-booked thing that people will be able to book um, ahead. So yeah, just trying to work out all the factors there. Under the sun said my niece will be coming on spring bank this coming Monday, and I'm going to my family's farm. This coming Sunday and Easter Sunday. Oh, exciting. Good. Are you right there? Yeah. You're thirsty. Marnie, come do this with me. <clears throat> yes, I left that out for him. Yeah, this is a good one. I, <clears throat> I got it years ago, but every year that comes up, I forget. And it's it's a way. There's some special Easter book for you, Marnie. Come here, come look. Come here. Come here. Under the sun and said, oh, my God, I would love to attend your class through Zoom. That would be so fun. It would be fun. And I've got to sort of factor in the whole thing of, you know, like people can either pay for the classes and pay for the starter kit too, which gets sent out to them, or they can pay for the classes, use their own products and, you know, go with that. But I'll be trying to make it really accessible for everyone to work with so it's just trying to factor it all out and get it all <clears throat> worked out so to speak Matthew says uh, morning Annette and happy Easter happy Easter to you too and happy anniversary you old dog you love it love it love it love it and he says morning Deb to his sweetheart couldn't be more cute could it Well, could, but, you know, I think that's really special. So, yeah, stay tuned about that. Like I said, I'm trying to work out all the factors involved. I mean, if I'm doing night classes, which are good. Ma, who's that? Steve Irwin. Come on, mate. And who's on that picture? That's Matteo. Who's on that picture? Matilda. Who's on that Eat your hot cross bun, silly. Um, so, yeah, um... Up doing night classes, you've got the factor of, you know, lighting, and sometimes it's not as nice to work uh, reborning at night. But I'll have to factor that in and tell people to try to you know, make sure they've got really excellent lighting. Pikachu. Yes. Yes. See so Pikachu. Yes, that's really cool. Uh, under the sunset, I have Zoom account, so let me know when the time approaches. It would be so cool, and the best thing. For you under the sun too as even if you're not able to afford or whatever the first series of classes i'll come around so i'll do air dry One, and then i'll do heat set and then two, i'll come back to air dry three, and the different timings two, of the day so one, you know you'll be able to book ahead of time and pay off your class and stuff the matthew said who's excited for the easter bunny are you excited for the easter bunny mm -hmm. yeah is he coming not yet. That's right. Not yet. Not yet, but soon. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, I think. Two days, actually. Two days. Two days. You're very clever. <laughs> two weeks. Um, under the sun said, hi, Matthew. Morning and happy Easter. And Matthew said, same Mom, to you. Why did last one two days? Because you said, like, two weeks, and it just sounded really cute coming out of a, you know, little baby. But I said two days. Can you eat your hot cross buns, yeah. please? Can you go away? No. All of a sudden you want to hang out. Fun size says, what is the time difference from Australia to Central Time US? Well, at the moment it's 8.51 a.m. Friday morning. <coughs> so you have to work that out. You already asked me and I already told you. The bunny could, yes. The bunny is pretty cool. What's on there? I already told you that. You yeah. got some hot cross bun on your bottle. <coughs> I can't get it off. Lick it. Oh. Go ask mummy then. Oh. Okay, a, a, a girl or a boy? Of what? Our fun size says it's 5.50 p.m. Thursday. Wow. 
Amy, did you see my water feature working outside? No. Oh, sun mustn't have been out. I didn't specifically look there. You would have heard it. You would. Yeah, it, it's I so bold. I just me. fixed a water feature outside that I've always had loved, and I finally fixed it after like years. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um, under the sunset, I was thinking of buying your magical realism paints, but if it happens, it would be after summer trip to Puerto Rico. Well, that's that's fine. Like I said, you might not be able to make it to the first range of classes, but I'm go it's going to be a continuum that I'm going to do because there's always so many people wanting. Downstairs, you left it down there. Go get your froggy here. There's always people wanting to attend classes, no, so that but it's aren't downstairs. close to me. No, Go find it. Go Come find on. it downstairs. Bring your hot Come cross on. bun. Take it down. Take it. You're being naughty. Am I? Yes. So there's always people wanting to attend classes, but for for me, it's too far for them to come to my home, or they're internationally or interstate, but they've always wanted to attend. So this gives them the the privilege to be able to do it um and like i said i want to make it really accessible so um that people can pay it off if they say want to start their classes in august or something maybe they could decide to do like a deluxe package where they get the the kit the paints everything that they're going to need for that event i'm just about to i keep saying it i know but finances are always a problem here but i am just about to um the heat set paints that I am going to be providing are almost due in store, but then I've just got to wait for the bottles and that. So they'll be around the same price as my air dry paints, which will mean that, yeah, people can get them too. So it's all a factor. I've just got to work out all the details, really. <clears throat> Gigi said 12 to 16 hours, depending in which AU state we live in. There you go. Matthew said the bunny is very magic. The bunny is very magic. Shush, Cruzy, you're, you're right in me today. Under the sun said that would be nice. No worries. My and Funside says, Funside said My about 12 hours to You did scare me. Now, why are you here again? Because why? Because why, he says. Because why? I'm going to read a story. Oh, I'm going to read a story soon. Are you going to stay for story? I'm going to get the book. No, hop away from there. That's got sticky stuff over there. Come on. I'm not reading that book. Which book? I'm reading this one about Easter bunnies. I hold it. Oh, you're going to get it for me, are you? Thank you. Not very helpful. Look, look at those bunnies. <laughs> you're welcome, fun size. And uh, under the sunset, right now it's 6.54 p.m. here in the USA. It's 8. 54 in Australia's state of Australia and it's Australia yeah that me where I am that's pretty cool isn't it your froggy is so cute can you hang on hang, hang on rabbit tell me about your frog where did you find him rabbit rabbit ribbit it's on the, it's on the cake. okay can you no can you stop for a minute can you tell me where did you find your frog? Out outside. Outside? Can you give me that No, no, no. It's not for you. Leave that there. Your froggy. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about your froggy. How did you find it? As it was outside wibbling. It was outside wibbling? Yes. Yeah. It was wibbling. Why was it wibbling? Why? Because why? But who was it? Where was it at? No one's house. It was at no one's house. No. Okay. <laughs> Under the sun, why do you have to touch all of my things? You like a wiggly worm. That's my avocado rock. What's on it? Avocado. What's on the back? A sticker. Yeah. Under the sun said, my pleasure. Gigi said 9.55 in New South Wales at the moment. Matthew said, hi, Cruz. You're a cutie. So hi, Matthew. He doesn't say hello to anyone. He just like is really ignorant about it but you know quite often when i stop my live stream he starts telling everyone hello and he starts saying people's names I on that. Ice cream. Hey? I love ice cream ice cream I love ice cream you like green no what say again uh, it's 
dry fruit. It's what? Uh, you get a cough too. Have a cough. <laughs> Where is it the rock guy? I don't know. Under the sunset. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool. Thanks, Annette. You're welcome. Uh, Deb says uh, it's 9.55 here in New the South Wales. Jessica the says it's 6.56 a.m. in Western gone. Australia. Matthew says, hey, Jessica. Sonia says 9.26 in South Australia. Under the sunset. Nice, Jessica. Deb says I'm on at my holiday house down the, sun the south coast. That's beautiful. My Is Matthew with you? My you? I'm right here. Gigi said, yes, Jess, like you were saying, we have different time zones. And you was in the underwater. I was underwater? Yes. Why? Because I saw you do that. Okay. Matthew says, I love kids. And under the sun said, me too, Matthew. Jessica says, hi, Matthew. And Angela said, oh, he's saying live stream. Someone understands you. Why do I like stream? <laughs> Very good. I don't like stream. Stream. Live stream? Yes. Yeah, this is the live stream where I'm talking to all of my friends and your friends too. Oh, he's at home. Okay, Deb. All right, time for story time? Mm -hmm. Well, it's almost time. First, we need to tell all of our friends that they need to get their babies and their Mama, pets look. and everything together ready for story. Let's just do the story now. I will in a minute. Kylie says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Kylie. I hope you're doing well. You put your frog up your pants. Yeah. And you put your rock up your other pants. Yeah. Wow. They're gone, they're gone. They're gone, they're gone. That's exciting. Is, Under the sun said, morning, Kylie. That? Happy what Easter. The avocado is the rock that he keeps playing with. Do you feel froggy? That's his froggy. That's his froggy. Doesn't that. the frog live outside? Mm, yes. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe you've got to put him back in his house. I don't want to. Why not? Because he wants to stay at your home. Does he? I'm glad he wants to stay at my home. I like that. He jumps on the roof. Not on the roof. No, no. Jessica said my babies are still in bed. There. Oh, I jumps on the, Fun side said how old are there. my children? My children. No, he jumps on there. Okay. This year my children are 25, 22 like and 20. Um, and my grandchildren this year are 5 and 3. You'll be 3 this year, won't you? Yes. Yes. Kylie said, Happy Easter under the sun. Gigi said, How cute. How, well, how cute is a frog? Well, cute frog cruise. Where are they? All the frogs were at the fairy house, remember? How many frogs did you see outside? Where are they? They're in your pants. Where are they going? Oh, I think they're in your pants. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he jumped out. Yes, he did. What a did. naughty frog. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to read the story. <laughs> what a crazy avocado okay. okay i'm going to read the story now and it's called easter bunnies he jumps out. He do, out. do you like easter bunnies he jumped out. do you like easter bunnies yes he jumped out he did. now we're not talking about froggy right now out. are you listening we're not banging the rock here. We're re reading the story. Are you going to stay for story? Uh -huh, um, yes. And hold that? Yes. Okay. That's a big rock. It is a big rock. Okay, Easter bunnies. Easter bunnies. Now hang on, you just got to read. Listen. Yes, yes. Where are Chickens. the Easter bunnies? I don't know. The... Shh, wait a minute. Huh? They're nowhere to be seen. They're not in the farmyard or look, down the stream. Look, Let's see if we can find them. I they found, can't be far away. I found them. Shh, perhaps they're busy planning surprises for Easter Day. <laughs> Easter Bunny. They didn't go and catch. Nope, 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 nope. Can't do it yet. We can in a minute. 
Let's look in the meadow. Can we find a bunny here? Bunny, I see bunny. bunny. Can you show me if we can find the bunny? Uh, here. Have a look under there. Yeah. <gasps> yes, here's one collecting grass. You found the bunny. You're so clever. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I see. You see him? Uh, Don't pull him. Does he have a tummy? Show me. Yes, he does have a tummy. Look. <gasps> it's a fluffy tummy. Do you think that would be all nice and soft? Let's shut that. Okay. That's his house. What's in the There's house? There's two more near the woods. What's They've been that? busy all What's day. What's in this one? Have a look. What's in the books? <gasps> Looking for the prettiest flowers to pick and take away. No, nothing in that one. A tree. Well, let's, let's, a rabbit. Let's shut the back in the case. Okay. Uh, come. What's in that other <laughs> We may see other What's bunnies if we peek over the hedge. What is there? <gasps> Why three? Three are trimming baskets, adding flowers around the edge. No one open. <laughs> it's really hard to do with him sitting here. Rabbits. Rabbits are a wolf. Oh, can you shut that for me? Thank you. Okay, let's see what happens next. Oh okay. my goodness. All over the garden, four bunnies try and hide. They're making something special to wear at Easter tide. What's in this one? Hang on, slow down. Let, yeah, have a look up there. <gasps> one bunny. What's in there? Two bunnies. What's in that one? Look at this one here. <gasps> Three bunnies. Where's that one? One bunny. Four bunnies. So I'll just show everyone all of the different bunnies. Whoa. Now let's see. Hang on a minute, maybe. I'm looking. <laughs> Look at how the car I walk in. Can you shut all of those special doors for me? Thank you. Okay, now what's next? What's next? Oh, one? look at this one. What's in there? <coughs> Who's inside the stable? What's Let's in, open what? the door. <gasps> and then, let's see now. Oh, five bunnies trying to... Try, tying ribbons. Now what? Look at that. Now what can they be for? Found the rabbits. I'm going to fall. You're not going to fall. I thought I did. Okay. Can you shut those doors please? Awesome work. That is great. Now ready? Sit back. Sit back on me for a minute. Oh, these bunnies have the answer. There's one last thing to do. Do you want to open that? <gasps> Tuck bows among Easter eggs. Will there be one for you? Yes. Well, there will? Mm -hmm. So that was like that. This one. The one. There's this one. Just one for you? One for me. One for you. Yes. Can you shut that for me? Awesome. Okay, now let's have a look. Ready? Ooh, what's in these? Hang on. These bunnies sure are busy. What can it all be for? And why have they been creeping inside the big barn door? A very happy I Easter and I welcome can. one and all. Won't you join it. us, says the bunnies. I can't at open the... it. There's nothing to open there, mate. It's what? Hang on a minute. There's going to be a big special one. Ready? So they said, won't you join us, say the bunnies, at yeah. the... Oh, 
Easter Bunny Ball. I get them. You can't get them. They're just all having a party. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I've got to show everyone. Easter Bunny Ball. How cute is that, everyone? You I see all the I, Easter bunnies and I the fox and the ribbons. I thought they rock them. No, no. We're not throwing the rock at them. Ooh. Oh, you want to show them the rock? That's okay. You can show them. Can you shut the book now? Thank you. Let's show the apple. Did you like that? Let's show the apple. So there we go. Happy Easter, everyone. Can you say happy Easter, everyone? Look at it. It's it's Christmas time. It's a bunny time now. It is. Can you say Happy Easter, everyone? Ah, uh, Happy Easter, everyone. Oh, that's lovely. It is a cute story. Uh, Maddie was ready for the story. I'm glad Maddie was here. Sonia Dad, said, and Dad Cruz was so Dad, helpful. I Dad opened. Listen. listen. Sonia said, listen. Calm down. It's dropped on the ground. Wait. Listen. Sausage. Sonia said that you were so helpful opening and closing all of the things in the book. So thank you. Tammy said my kids were uh, 31, 30, 29, 29, 28, 26, 24, and grandkids are 6, 4, 4, 4, and 2. Wow. Sonia says happy Easter cruise. Fun Size says happy Easter. Kylie says happy Easter. So happy Easter, everyone. Very exciting, and we're going to get ready for some Easter eggs, eh? Are we doing that? We will talk about it. Maybe we'll go downstairs and have one. <gasps> I'll get one. Do you have room in your belly for an Easter egg? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. Right there? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, you're going to say goodbye to everyone? Rabbit. Yes. Bye. Say so thank you for joining us today. And sorry that Imani's not here to say goodbye, but I think he was given a Easter sticker book and he's gone and gone to work with it. Are you there, Imani? No, he's working on his book downstairs. So that's kind of cute. Look, the rabbit did it go. Good. Okay, can you take your bottle, go downstairs, and I'll come follow you and we'll we'll get a, a egg. I'm going to bring this okay, don't drop that. Okay. All right. Bye, love and hugs. Gigi said, have a, have a lovely Easter. Bye, Cruz. Thank you. Uh, Jessica says, happy Easter. Have a good good one. Tammy says, happy Easter. Have a good weekend. Sonia says, bye. Have an awesome week, everyone. You guys too. Happy Easter. Remember to think about all your beautiful blessings you have. Well, can you hold Spend. It? Thank you, I will. Spend all your special time with your family and those precious to you close by. And have a great Easter. Um, but I'll see you next week, guys. I'll try to have more, more information about my classes for you too. I'm coming, mate. All right, guys. Happy Easter. And happy reborning too. Very important.